Hi gorgeous, it's Carlene. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing some new fragrances that I've added to my perfume collection recently and also sharing with you whether or not I think these fragrances are worth the hype. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, then please stay tuned. Hey friend! So as you can see by my background, I am back home, finally. I am back in the Tampa Bay area after Hurricane Milton. And while my family and I suffered no water damage and minimal property damage, my heart goes out to each and every person that has suffered and lost so much more. When we got back, it was just really sad to see the state of Tampa and also to watch on the news about the surrounding areas and what people have gone through. So if you're watching this and you have lost so much, maybe you've lost your possessions, maybe you've lost your home, my heart goes out to you. And what I'll do is I'll put a link to a church in the area that I trust and that they've been doing so much good. They've been feeding people, allowing people to come and find some shelter and plug up their items and connect people to resources around the community. So I will link that church's info in the description box and you can go ahead and reach out to them and see what resources that they can connect you to and help you with. So anywho, let's switch gears to talk perfume. One of the things I love about this fragrance community is this is our safe space. This is our little escape. This interest gives us an outlet and just a little respite from all the the craziness in the world. So if you're new here, welcome on this channel. I talk luxury, I do review videos, I share my fragrance journey, and I also sprinkle in a little bit of lifestyle here and there. So if any of those things sound good to you, then I would love to have you here. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop. All right, let's get into it. The first one I have here is a newbie from Ministry of Gourmand, and this is Tiramisu Speculose. So, Tiramisu Speculose has top notes of coffee and cinnamon. It has middle notes of vanilla and cocoa and base notes of musk. I think there might also be like some cream in here as well. So when I spray this out, it is just the most creamy and delicious treat. This is not like a very heavy coffee forward fragrance. Instead, this fragrance puts me in the mind of a dessert that I would have inside of a coffee shop. So yes, you get wafts of the coffee as you're sitting in the coffee shop, but you yourself are not actually having a coffee. Instead, you're having a very decadent dessert. This is also not very cocoa forward. So if you're thinking you're gonna get something very coffee heavy or cocoa forward, this is not it. Instead, this is more like an amalgamation of all of those sweet and yummy notes. So nothing really stands out apart from the vanilla and just the creamy essence of of like a dessert like the name would imply so this one here is very simplistic I've worn this a little bit now and it's very linear to my nose it doesn't really take me on a journey it just smells so yummy and delicious and this is one of those fragrances that I feel is also very cozy now as of right now performance wise it is not lasting for more than five hours on me I would have to reapply after that and I think it's because this fragrance is so new so I'll be back in about another month or so I'll be doing a really big maceration update on a lot of my newer fragrances and I'll be back to share with you all how this has developed over time but as of right now it just smells so good so yummy it's ready to wear it's absolutely delectable and delicious and instead of being a very coffee forward or heavy or cocoa prominent fragrance this is like a dessert that you're having while you're sitting inside of a coffee shop while you're being enveloped and encircled with wafts of just coffee those lattes those flat whites, those hot cocos, all of those amazing smells are wafting around you and it's a really chilly day and you're just escaping the cold inside of this coffee shop. That's what this fragrance smells like to me. That's what it makes me feel like. And this is one that's going to be in heavy rotation for me this fall and winter because it's so good. 
this is the type of fragrance that will go really well with my new Jerosa 71 body cream, the limited edition one. This fragrance would go really well with it because that's what this fragrance puts me in the mind of. It puts me in the mind of just a very delicious treat. So again, this is Diramizu Speculose by Ministry of Gumo. So the next one is another one that piqued my interest. When I saw Banana, I had to have it had to have it and i don't think i've ever owned a banana prominent fragrance in my collection but i love bananas i eat them almost every day they're mixed into my smoothies almost every day and i was super excited about potentially getting something banana scented in a fragrance so i picked up banana bliss by ministry of gumo So Banana Bliss has top notes of banana. And that's it, y'all. Top notes of banana, middle notes of coconut and cream, and base notes of vanilla, sugar, and tonka bean. So this is a very simplistic note list. So y'all, Banana Bliss is pretty much what I thought it was going to be. When I pictured banana, I pictured this candy. Yes, this was one of my favorite candies to get from the candy machine or the gum machine. I absolutely loved this synthetic tasting sweet banana flavored candy. And to my nose, the opening smells very similar to that candy. Now, the opening is very banana forward. So if you're looking for a very banana forward fragrance, this is very banana forward to my nose in the very opening. After about maybe like 10 minutes or so, the banana settles quite a bit and it's more in the background of the fragrance and then you start getting just the creamy and sugary sweetness of this fragrance. So yes, this banana fragrance smells just like that banana candy right in the opening. Then after about like 10, 15 minutes, you start getting that thick, creamy, sugary sweetness. And while the coconut, at least to my nose in here, is not like super duper realistic, like a photorealistic coconut, you can tell there is a bit of complexity there that this isn't just banana and cream and sugar. There is a complexity to this fragrance. And it's almost like the coconut scent is sandwiched between the banana and the cream and sugar. And so while this doesn't take you on much of a journey, it's also not flat, it's not boring. It's a creamy fragrance that opens up with a very candy-like banana scent. And then you get a hint of that coconut just before the cream and the sugar kick in. This is very sweet. It's very delectable. It's a gourmand fragrance, but in my opinion, although it has all of those edible smelling notes, it's a gourmand that has a little bit of a perfuminess to it so that you don't have to be afraid that you're just going to walk around smelling like food and there's no nuance to this fragrance. Now for me, for some reason, Banana Bliss lasted just a little bit longer than Tiramisu Speculose. I'm not exactly sure why, but it lasted just a little bit longer. Now, I did pair these two together, and together they are perfection. Absolutely amazing. You will smell like a treat, like an absolute snack pairing these two together. These, like I said, are going to be in heavy rotation for me because I'm a gourmand girly. What can I say? So again, this was a Banana Bliss by Ministry of Gourmand. And the last fragrance I'm getting ready to show you is another one that I picked up because of the hype surrounding it. I just had to do it. I missed it the first time it was released. And when I heard it was released again, I had to have it. And this is the Wedding Silk Santal 36. The Wedding Silk Santal 36 has top notes of champagne. It has freesia and black currant, middle notes of nectarine, praline, jasmine, orange blossom, and may rose, and base notes of vanilla, sandalwood, musk, sugar, oak moss, and amberwood.
When I first sprayed this fragrance out, I got the freesia right away. That freshness of the freesia flower, the freshness and the softness of the freesia. I didn't pick up a champagne, like a fizziness from this fragrance whatsoever when I first sprayed it. And even now I don't really pick up on a champagne, at least not a super fizzy champagne. And then to my nose, I picked up on that nectarine and that praline, that stickiness and that sweetness, that sugary sweetness from the praline. And at that moment, I realized why people were saying vanilla candy rock sugar smells like this fragrance. This did give vanilla candy rock sugar vibes in the opening for me. It wasn't until this one started to dry down that it began to smell less and less like vanilla candy rock sugar. And I think it's because Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar does have this fruit in the opening. It also has this floral note, that violet in the opening that gives off the same soft and powdery floral vibe. And then it's also creamy and sugary. And there's a pink praline in this one. There's a nectarine and there's a freesia. And because of that, I feel like these fragrances have similar vibes in the opening. So this fragrance does dry down to something more sophisticated, more subtle. This has a less of a sexy appeal whereas vanilla candy rock sugar feels and smells a little bit more sensual and sexy. This one is just very soft, feminine, very classy. It gives off this crisp, clean vibe. Someone that loves a clean girl aesthetic would love this fragrance. This is also a very nice everyday fragrance. And this one is also one that I could see someone wearing for a wedding, definitely. So this one gives very soft, very effortless, very beautiful in an earthy and natural sort of way. And this is an easy reach everyday year round fragrance that is also perfect for special occasions. This did last all day on my clothes and so I was surprised at how long lasting this one is especially because it's brand new. So I can only imagine once this has sat for a few months how amazing it's going to be. Now as the notes would imply this one is not a loud projector. This is a very moderate projector in the opening for the first several hours and then it became more of a scent bubble, more of an intimate wear the longer I wore it. However, it was very long lasting. It lasted all day on my clothes. So do I think this one was worth the hype? In my opinion, I would be perfectly fine with just having vanilla candy rock sugar 42 in my collection and not necessarily owning this one. So for me personally, this one is not one that I cannot do without. This one to me is just a very beautiful fragrance. And if you got your hands on it, it's a nice one to have in your collection, especially because it's limited edition. However, if you didn't get your hands on it, I think you'll be fine, especially because Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar 42 is so widely available. And at least in the opening, they give the same vibes and feel. And then this dries down to something that we are very familiar with. A DNA that you can probably even get from some of the other Kayali fragrances. Because in my opinion, Kayali does fragrances in a very similar fashion in that they are all very feminine, very fun, very flirty, beautiful, crisp, effortless. And so you can definitely get similar vibes from some of their other fragrances or even by layering their fragrances because they're meant to be layered. So yes, those are my thoughts. I think this one was more hype than anything and that's probably because it was limited edition. A beautiful fragrance nonetheless. I love this scent profile, but don't be sad if you didn't get your hands on this one. I do think that this is a scent profile you've probably smelled before. So this is the Wedding Silk Santal 36 by Kayali. All right, gorgeous. Thank you so much for being here. I value you and your time so, so much. It means so much to me that you clicked on that thumbnail and that you are still here. If you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a like on your way out because that helps my channel continue to grow. And if you're here and you love fragrance content, I make a lot of that on this channel and I would love to have you here. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn on your notifications notifications so you never miss another video. Before I go, I just want to remind you to keep your head up, keep smiling, and keep shining your beautiful light because no one can do you quite like you. I will be over here doing the exact same thing. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye!